much. Um, I call Dr. Zhang Yang. Oh. <laughs> thank, thank you very much. Well, this is very efficient. This is very efficient. Uh, 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 thank you, Mr. Chair. And uh, uh, I understand the minister has just uh, said that, um, you know, uh, Louis Upson's uh, SOP in basically uh, the assistance, including the availability of online assistance, um, has been actually mentioned. So uh, what, I, what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to focus on language assistance because to many um, immigrants, uh, they have difficulty in understanding the policies, in understanding letters from, from all departments. Uh, uh, these can cause concerns or anxiety to many new immigrants. Now, in part four, I was, I was speaking to my SOP. I didn't finish because of time limit. But I was going to say that actually over 10 years ago, um, uh, a few, quite a few uh, Chinese migrants received letters from MSD regarding their so-called pensions in China. Uh, of course, there was a confusion between um, among officials whether uh, what they had in China was really overseas pension or not. Uh, in the end, in the end, of course, um, uh, with the support of many other people, uh, these, of it, these, uh, these Chinese members of community, uh, Chinese community members actually uh, approached local MPs, uh, including actually the Honorable Phil Gough, uh, who helped uh, to, sort, to sort this out. Uh, in the end, of course, and MSD officials um, uh, in those years uh, were very helpful. So language in the end, of course, uh, was the barrier was, was, uh, was overcome because of support from uh, Department of Internal of, Department of Ethnic, Communi Ethnic Office in, the, in those years, uh, what they call ethnic community. Now we call ethnic communities. Um, so, so with the support of those departments that people were able to communicate with all sorts of agencies. But MSD uh, is particularly important because, um, because uh, so many uh, migrants uh, are related to MSD, they need support from MSD. So when, once they receive a letter uh, in English, very often they are not able to really understand accurately. They would have support from uh, people, either translators or from uh, those um, uh, community associations. So it is important for MSD to provide language support at certain stages. Um, now we understand that uh, we have all sorts of uh, support uh, for new immigrants. Uh, language support is a key part. I uh, understand, what, like in police, we now have uh, many people who can speak Mandarin or can speak other languages uh, who are there to support all these ethnic groups. We also understand we have a language line where people can get support uh, for various services. So it is important for us, for MSD, to really, to either uh, to make sure they have volunteers there to support these people, or they have staff really to support uh, these new migrants. And particularly, particularly when they are trying to deliver some very important messages or notices. Uh, so it is important for them to uh, make sure that these migrants are able to understand uh, the messages. So, um, so this, is, this, is, this is the kind of support I believe is particularly important. The minister mentioned that uh, online services uh, are there, uh, which is good, of course. But at the same time, at the same time, whether we are able to have um, information in different languages online, there is another matter you may look at. Uh, uh, for example, I uh, understand that uh, earlier this year, actually a few months ago, uh, the Minister of, Ministry of Education was going to uh, do a survey, uh, but they used English uh, without some other very important languages for other very important ethnic communities, including uh, Mandarin, or Chinese, Koreans, and all these people, they don't have language for these people. So, so it is important for us to understand all services, important services need to be provided in different languages so that we make sure that all communities are connected. So, so the MS, MSD is a very important part of the government. Without proper language support, many ethnic community members may not be able to, uh, to get the service or can be penalized because of misunderstanding. Uh, so that is, that is a key a part 
of our services. So I hope that uh, not only we have online services, but also we have online language services. Thank you. Um, I call uh, Raymond Hall. I move that his question be now put. The question is that the question be now put. Those of that opinion will say aye.